What's up guys, Elric Beakerman here. Well, kinda. Let me explain. A couple of days ago, I was watching John Green's TED Talk. Yup, that John Green. He was talking about the concept of education and how it shouldn't be this meaningless chronological system where you're forced to learn by yourself to get yourself a job so that you can finally be happy, but rather a communal activity where people interact and use social media and different platforms to learn and have fun together. With that in mind, I decided to create my own little educational series using arts and crafts to talk about historical people and events. I'm mostly doing this because my hair was a mess and I didn't want to appear on camera. Anyways, today's topic of conversation is going to be Galileo. You know, the guy from that Queen song. Galileo Figuro Magnifico! Galileo Galilei is a famous observational astronomer who was born on February 15th, 1564, and died on January 8th, 1642. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dates aren't an important thing to learn about. You'll never need to know Galileo's birth date in the real world. Well, most likely accurate, unless you're on like a really specific episode of Jeopardy, dates are important because they add a sense of scale to everything. For example, did you know that Galileo died almost a year to the day before Sir Isaac Newton was born, January 4th, 1643? It's crazy to think that the father of astronomy and the father of mathematics were that close together in time. Sadly, historically speaking, these two scientists obviously never got to meet each other or discuss ideas. But, scientifically speaking, I hypothesize they're both eternal mole men creatures living underground and currently plotting their overthrow of modern day human society. Like I said, it's just my hypothesis. Back to Galileo. He was born the first child of six, with three out of his five siblings surviving infancy. Originally hoping to be a priest, Galileo instead began studying medicine at the University of Pisa under the wishes of his father. I say began because Galileo quickly switched his focus to mathematics after noting that a chandelier, regardless of the size of its arcs, always took the same time to return to its first position, leading to experimentation with pendulums. Through his intellectual lifestyle, Galileo came into contact with the Aristotelian views of life, including the concept that space is a perfect heavenly plane, and the geocentric model of how our cosmos was shaped, with the idea that our planet is the orbital center of everything. After leaving university, Galileo then went on to create the thermoscope, a precursor to modern day th thermometers. Following this, Galileo went on to become the chair of mathematics at the University of Pisa in 1589, and then a professor at the University of Padua. Here is where he first heard of an item in the Netherlands with the capability to zoom in on distant objects, inspiring him to perfect the concept of telescopes. While not the creator like many people think, Galileo is the creator of the first good telescope, allowing him to magnify up to 20 times. Using this, Galileo was able to observe craters in the moon, and moons orbiting Jupiter, disproving both of Aristotle's theories about perfect heavenly space and geocentricity. The Catholic Church, uh, hated this. Like a lot. Becoming a rather controversial figure, Galileo went on to become banned from the church, which prohibited the teaching or discussion of his theories. Galileo, always the cheeky little astronomer, went on to write Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief World Systems, Ptolemaic and Copernican. This book featured three people, one fighting in favor of heliocentricity, the idea that our solar system revolves around the sun, one fighting against it, and one neutral third party. Although it was claimed to be an impartial work of literature, the Catholic Church, uh, hated it. Like a lot. <laughs> Summoned to Rome, Galileo admitted to his anti-Aristotelian views on science and was sentenced to house arrest. During this time, in 1638, so close to 1738, Galileo wrote his final book, Two New Sciences, outlining the discoveries about motion and the strength of material. Four years later, Galileo Galilei passes away after enduring a fever and heart palpitations. Let me know what you guys think about this new show, any events or people you might want Paper Me to talk about, and feel free to look into all of this more yourself. I'd love to discuss and learn alongside you guys. Also, like, seriously, help me prove Galileo and Newton are mole people.